What is up everyone, it is Andrew Appear here of Beta AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this uh, YouTube video we're going to be going over mixing and mastering, uh, something basic, some basic fundamentals, me pretty much just going through this beat and I'm going to mix and master it. I'm a, I just got this beat sent from one of my buddies. Uh, wanted me to do some work on it as well as um, it's actually from Tony so I don't know if you guys will ever see his comments he sometimes comments on he works with uh, he's part of beta AT production and publishing so uh, yeah he sent it over to me I was him mix and master it do some other uh, things to it probably um, yeah and we're gonna give it a listen right now but I don't think I'm gonna cover anything creativity. Like, ah, create. I don't think I'm gonna create anything. Meaning, I'm just gonna do the mixing and mastering only in this uh, tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and play it without any mixing and without any mastering. Just wanting to double check. Yeah, it doesn't look like you put anything on there. So, there was a lot of things wrong with the mix and mastering that's, that's obvious because nothing was done to it. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, now it's usually different every time. Uh, I want to first wonder why he has like two different voices. Okay, it doesn't even matter. One of these don't matter. This one doesn't matter. <clears throat> now, um... What I'm going to do is uh, turn down all of the instruments. So the lead voices. There's another voice. I don't know. Is there anything even in 7? So everything's already tracked in here. Yeah, seven's a dead one too. So I'm just wanting to get rid of. These are just empty uh, inserts. I don't know why that these were in there. But, um, yeah, tune down all the instruments right here, the voices in the lead. Uh, there's also this bell right here. 
and tune that down right there. Now, if we listen to it, I'm gonna go right here. See, now we're, now we're not going like up to like three. We wanna always be under zero. Always, 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 always under zero. Because then distortion starts happening and just sounds like ass. Like straight up, I'm gonna just be 100. It sounds like fucking ass. Um, I'm gonna try my best not to curse though. But um, I, I wanna iterate that. Like hardcore, like it's gonna not sound good. Don't do it. And so um, I want it, I usually like it somewhere around here. Like uh, one, negative 1 1.2, negative 2 decibels. And it'll tell you right up here the exact measurements. So you see, um, and that's more, we're gonna focus on mastering after, but um, so the mix, now I'm gonna tune down this 808 by pulling in an EQ. I naturally always want to drag in the EQ when I do the mixing on 808 immediately. So here, whenever those, Whenever those colored uh, lines come up, that means that's where the sound is happening. So the sound is obviously happening down in the lower, low bass uh, frequency range. Now, what I did was cr I'm creating a low pass filter. Why is it called low pass? Because only low, low end is passing through the filter. I'm cutting out all the high end. This is the high end upper frequencies. Boom, bada bing, now y'all know. Um, so I'm gonna tune down actually like part of the like inaudible human by human ear uh, bass area. It's like the literally 20 hertz frequency uh, that's not even audible in the human ear. Uh, so it doesn't really, we don't really need it. And then I'm gonna do a slight, slight boost, slight. Y'all see this boost like, that's like a slight, I don't even know if I really even need it, but. So now it's sounding pretty good. It's getting, well not, it's not like there yet, obviously, but it's sounding better. Now, I'm going back to this lead. This is where our main instrument is. Literally in the low mid and mid. That's my phone. All right, so I'm gonna tune down this. We're gonna create a high pass filter now. So with the, I'm just dragging down, clicking and dragging to select a different one. And uh, I'm gonna click up there. So now. So what I'm doing right now is just kind of like some precision EQing. What I mean by precision EQing, it's I'm look, I'm going through here, zooming in, and listening for the worst possible uh, sound. Then I'm gonna pull it all the way down, not all the way down, but pull it down so it cuts it. That might have been even a little too much EQ'd, but um, we're gonna see. Um, then we're gonna worry about, I might try some different stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, so now we're gonna listen to everything. All right, so let's work on this, uh, the main snare. So I'm gonna pull down this, pull this up. I like to cut out any frequency that I just don't think needs to be there. Now, I also have a tendency of overdoing it sometimes. You gotta find the right amount of EQing. It's a skill. So, well, I'm boosting it in the low mid a little bit so it has a little bit more thickness. Then I'm gonna come and do like a little dip right in here. 
pull up the transient. Whenever I say transient, it's usually the upper, uh, it's the upper range of frequencies. To tr that's the transient. Uh, excuse me, I'm getting a drink of my coffee. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little boost in that snare with the transient. Um, what I'm also gonna do, this is something that most of you will probably don't have unless if you have the waves plugin. I'm gonna pull in this. It doesn't really matter if you guys don't have this. It's just gonna give me a little bit of boost in the transient range. So. It's like almost inaudible for most of you guys. I just want to do it because that little bit of boost can make it sound a whole lot better. Now, while we're here and doing it, I'm going to create a reverb send. I know most of the time I just put the reverb right in here. However, for the sake of tutorial's sake, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to create a reverb send and I'm show you guys how how y'all do that. So I'm just gonna name this reverb send so you all know and so I know. All I did was click F2. And anyways, um, up here, I'm gonna, I usually do the sends, the 100 channels, uh, because I'm usually using up to like 20 normally. And I'm going over to the snare and I'm gonna pu push this up. This is gonna allow a percentage of the mix to go through from here to there. So 50% of all sound from here is going to go into there. Now it sounds thicker. Now, all this is doing is pretty much duplicating the sound over here to whatever amount I have. So I got like 52, 50% over here. So now if we listen to, now we got that reverb. I'm going to create a little bit more size pull up the wetness, pull down the dry a little bit, pull up the ER, pull the stereo separation down. All right, we're almost getting to the kick part. So now I just need to go over to these other snares. So I'm just doing the same thing, kind of like the same uh, tactic. I'm gonna do a little bit more boosting though in the uh, tr transient of this one. Saturation knob. Um, I don't want to go too overboard with the saturation knob, but it's pretty much the same thing. Boosting the transient of the sound or saturating it. And y'all don't need it. I mean, I'm just doing it for the sake of improving the quality a little bit. I'm gonna dip this down. I want to go a little bit more. All right, now we can get to the kick part because these kicks are really fucked up. Like, listen to this. Like, yo, like you should not be doing that. All right, so let's listen to this kick. Now let's listen to this kick. This one seems to have a little bit more mid, and this one has a little bit more low. So I don't really need a whole lot of low since we got the 808. When I mean low and mid, I'm talking about in regards to the frequency. So you see, this is pretty low. And if we go over to this one, I'm guessing, my guess it's gonna be a little bit more in here. Yeah, so a little bit more, I think, than 
I want to see compare and contrast. Yeah, I was right. Um, this one being this, this is a more low base, and then this one is a more mid. So I'm gonna do a little boost in the mid, low mid, because that's actually where I want my kick. I think that's a good sweet spot around a little bit, a little bit more. Th now I don't want too much low. I mean I don't want too much high. So I'm gonna do like a dip. Now I also don't want low on this one. This one is this, the uh, trap kick one. I'm gonna exit this off. I'm gonna do it with 808. Pull this down. Sounds a little bit better. Now if we pull up this one. It just sounds really muddy, like. So we're gonna pull this. We're gonna pull. Now you, you, we can kind of see where this is going. It's gonna be. It sounds a little bit better. And you see, everything's leveled off pretty nicely. Now I'm gonna do a, where is this? Little limiter, a little bit. So all I'm doing is pulling down that threshold. It's gonna affect the volume, then the knee and ratio. Cool, now it sounds a little bit better. So we got some other, uh, looks like we had some other stuff going on in here. I'm gonna just EQ all this. So I'm gonna try to think now. I'm gonna send the hi hats just a excuse me, I just burp. Uh I'm gonna put the hi hats a little bit in that reverb sound. I don't want too many hi hats. I mean I don't want I don't want the hi hats to be too much in that reverb. All right, now I get to see these voices. So now I'm gonna do some reverb on the, I mean some EQing on the bell. So we'll go on to the bell now. And we're just, I'm just kinda of like mixing things around. Uh, let's look at this master though. You see we're still getting a little, a little peakage. 
but we can fix it when we go into mastering but I, I normally want to just cut everything down before mastering the bell I'm just kind of guessing and going wherever it sounds good Now for the bell, I definitely am gonna put a reverb on it. As opposed to doing a reverb send, is just how I like to do my bells. And then maybe even a little bit of a delay bank. And we're gonna pull this mix down. Gonna do the same thing, pull up a little bit of the transients on that bell. Now what I'm gonna do is go over to this lead and put it over in the send and I'm gonna do some effects to it. This is kind of what I was wanting to talk about earlier. Uh, I'm gonna do a stereo enhancer, spread it out. Now if we just do I'm just doing some little effects, doing to what I think sounds good. I don't even really like this sound because it almost sounds a little too distorted. I'm gonna pull up this uh, lead. If I pull down this reverb, maybe I could get. I like that sound a little bit better. Down. Now we're kind of pretty much done with the mix. Took about a decent amount of time. Uh, and that should give you guys an idea on the mix. Now we're going to do a little bit of mastering. Uh, hopefully, I'm just going to do a rough. Now I'm rolling off the low end, rolling off some of that high end. Reason why is we will not hear any of those frequencies, they mean nothing to us. Now, what I'm going to do, pull this up.
so now we got a decent amount of mixing. Uh, I mean, a little bit of precision EQing on the mastering. Now I'm gonna pull up the fruity limiter, pull down uh, our threshold. Go to the limiter, pull down that gain. The reason why I'm doing this, now we're down to three, or now we're a little bit less. I'm gonna continue with the limiter, pulling. I don't normally use just the Fruity Loops uh, mixing and mastering, but it means it makes no sense for me to just pull up waves and pull up presets and tell you that's how it's done because you could use just FL Studio stuff. Now for this one, I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with how I'm gonna do it. The other one, this one was mostly to tune everything down. So if we turn off this, so we're all the way down here. And then this one comes in and it's going to be more to bring it up and boost it. All right, so now we're going to do a Maximus and then on top of that, we're going to put a limiter. I'm doing a lot of limiting and a lot of Maximus because this is gonna allow me to pretty much see where I mess up at and I can go back. I don't like to, you can all do it on one, but if we just do like small increments, it's gonna stack up and sound pretty nice in my opinion. This is just one of many ways you can do it. So there's no right or wrong way. And well, I mean, there's right and wrong way. Wrong way is to get distortion. Trying to finish this coffee. All right, so um, we're gonna just do the solo on the low end, so we could just hear the low. I'm gonna do a little boost. Pull this down right here. So I'm just doing some little, excuse me, some uh, effects right here, so a little stereo separation maybe. Now I wanna bring up the upper transient a little bit. Gonna pull down this. This is gonna cover everything on the master. Then I'm gonna pull this down. Without it, with it. So now I'm gonna pull up this limiter. We're gonna do our final limiting or, and you know, just a final, final mixing mastering. Now I'm gonna pull this knee, pull this ratio. Pull up that gain a little bit. I'm gonna turn that off. I want to boost it a little bit more in the mix. I mean, the math maximus. Now we're gonna pull up this limiter.
now it's pretty much done uh, this is just a really rough uh, this should give you guys an idea on mixing and mastering uh, now you everything isn't fighting against each other it might not be as precise we could as what we could get but this is going to give us a good general consensus on the overall mix and if you sent this to someone it, they won't be like pretty much wanting to kill you for sending them something that's going to blow their speakers out <laughs> uh so yeah that's pretty much this is a simple way of mixing and mastering um so we're gonna play it and i'm gonna comp i'm gonna put the uh two segments together in the beginning so you get to hear the before and after when you start the video so yeah thank you for watching the video and hopefully this benefited you i'm gonna go ahead and play this uh little thing oh and before i go and play it if you guys want to network, talk to other producers and rappers, join our group me. It's a group where we all connect with each other and been talking about music and sharing our beats and et cetera, et cetera. And I'll put the link to that in the description. It's a free group. And uh, yeah, be sure to check out beatat.com for drum kits, beats, and more.